became very, very humble. And it was the day that I grew up. Sounds like a funny thing to say because I'm an old person and I should have grown up a long time ago, but I grew up that day. And it centers around basically what Mr. Monroe and Mr. Brewer said. Because you're looked to, if you are a reader, as the person who's supposed to have the answers. And I didn't have all the answers. And when parents started coming to pick up their children in droves, teachers looked to me for guidance. What do we do now? And I'm supposed to know what to do. So the first thing I did is call groups of kids together, lower school kids, middle school kids, high school kids, in different places. And I did what I know how to do best. And we prayed. Brought kids together because at each different school, you talk to kids differently. A lower school kid doesn't understand what a high school kid could ever understand. And you can't tell a high school kid stories if they don't believe. And so in each group, I told them about what happened because they were going to hear it and I wanted them to hear it from me. And I tried to explain it because, and I couldn't, what was going on in the world. And the most important message I needed to send to them is, here, in this building, we're going to try to keep you safe. And when parents started coming, knowing full well that on the street it was less safe than in these halls. And I tried to keep the kids here and tried to assure parents as well. I certainly didn't have the right to tell <coughs> parents who love their kids and all they want to do is take their kids home, even if home wasn't safe on the street. I couldn't tell them no. And I had a moral dilemma because I had some teachers whose children were in other schools and they wanted to leave to pick up their children. And I needed them to stay here to take care of my children. And when all is said and done, you heard Rabbi Sassel say, family comes first. I allow those ch teachers to leave. I ask parents to calm down. Some listened, some didn't. We prayed. We said to him together. And I had to allow teachers to go where they, their heart took them. And I had a group of us keeping all the rest of the kids in the school together and trying to convey to them that we were going to take care of them. I don't know if that we felt taken care of. Remember this ever? And I hope you felt taken care of because my job is to take care of my children. And I have family in New York. And at the end of the day, I called to make sure they were okay. But first, and first, first, I wanted to make sure that you were okay. So the children in the school stayed here unless their parents had picked them up. And I stayed here until the very last child went home. And then I tried to make sure that the world would return to normal because normal is what we all need. And even more than normal, we need each other. 